If you want to punish me for taking a risk, then I encourage you to do that. But do not put the rest of my team on trial for something that I suggested. Calm down, Agent. This is Calm and it's Doctor. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Spencer was the best character on Criminal Minds. You like games? I do. Do you win? I always win. Play poker with him sometime. Try playing chess with him. Or go. You're the smartest kid in the room, but you're not the only one in that room. For this list, we'll be looking at the moments where Dr. Reed really shone. And if you haven't seen the show yet, consider this your spoiler alert. Did we miss your favorite Reed moment? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Becoming a Godfather Reed and JJ have always had a very special relationship. Hey, um, take care of yourself. You too. Both of you. They're the best of friends, and she is the only person that ever calls him Spence. So it's really no surprise when JJ asks him to be the godfather to her son Henry. If anything should happen to us, it's up to you and Garcia to make sure this boy gets into Yale. After a particularly harrowing experience putting together hazy pieces of his past, Reed still manages to show up for his best friend in the hospital after she gives birth. I guess I have room for one more in here? Spence, hi. Welcome back. In this moment, we get to see just how much Reed and JJ really love each other. Many believe that Morgan and Garcia are the best best friends on the show, but we argue that Reed and JJ give them a run for their money. Number 9. Undercover When a ring of hitmen is targeting the BAU, Reed goes undercover as a husband looking to kill his pregnant wife to flush one of them out. But Kat has her own trap set for the team. Do you know why I'm so good at my job? Because you kill without compunction or remorse. That only gets a girl so far in life. No, it's because I think through every potential outcome and then I plan accordingly. What happens next is a 30-minute battle of wits between two geniuses. Watching Reed go head-to-head -head with a fellow mastermind over the fate of the team keeps you on the very edge of your seat. You're not here alone. And my partner. Less paranoid than you think. You planted a bomb in a building. We're on the move. I didn't. My job was to keep your entire team focused on us so he could do what he does best. The power goes back and forth between them. And just when it seems like Reed may have met his match, he turns the tables on Kat one more time. You said you were good at your job because you think through every outcome. Well, guess what? So do I. Reed called it at the very beginning. He always wins. Number 8. Sleight of Hand Reed is a man of many talents, but he's not necessarily the first guy on the team you think of when you need someone for a one-man rescue mission. You gotta relax, man. The chip's a lot smaller than I'm, I'm used to doing it with, all right? I'm pulling the plug on this. No, no, hold on. L is taken hostage along with other passengers on a train by a mentally ill man who believes the government is spying on him. When the rest of the team wants to storm the train, Reed insists on going in alone. Do you guys do me a favor? Anything. Could at least one of you look like you're going to see me again? See you when you get back. He may not have the physical prowess of the others, but Reed uses his own magic to resolve the situation. Literally. He uses a magic trick to remove a chip that the man believes is in his arm. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> hey, look, he's got it. He's got it. He's got the chip. It's Reed's kindness and compassion that win the day. Number 7. Playing chess. Reed might not have Morgan's outgoing personality or Hotch's strong but silent demeanor, but all of us Dr. Reed fans swoon at his understated charm. Why wouldn't she like you? Because I'm weird. I slouch, my hair is too long, my tie's perpetually crooked. So we were all excited when Reed found someone else that could appreciate him just as much. Unfortunately, it was tragically short lived. When Maeve is captured by her stalker, Reed pulls out all the stops to get her back. Right now, I can't focus on anything for more than four seconds at a time, which makes me the dumbest person in the room. So, please help me. Help me find her. He even gets himself captured and plays along with the stalker in order to try to free Maeve. Kill her and she won't have to live with the fact that you're smarter. Let her live with her irrelevancy. Unfortunately, the stalker ends her life anyway. Even though Reed is unsuccessful in trying to save her, we get a lot of great character development out of this moment. Number 6. Taking down a shooter When the rest of the team wants to open fire on a teenage boy threatening them with a gun, Reed handles the situation with more of a delicate touch. Do not shoot. Reed! Owen, I don't have a gun. 
My name is Spencer, I'm with the FBI, and I'm here to help you. The boy is out for revenge on the kids that once ruthlessly picked on him. And when the jig is up, he's willing to go down in a hail of bullets. But Reed isn't having any of that. I know you want to escape and forget. Believe me when I say I know, I know exactly how that feels. Feeling a certain level of empathy with the killer, Reed risks his own life to save him. He stands in between the boy and his team's guns to talk him down. You don't have to die. No. No, I'm already dead. No. No, you're not dead. No one is dying on Reed's watch. Number 5. Anthrax Scare One of the best things about Reed is just how protective he is. He's always putting others' well-being above his own. Nothing's gonna happen to you. You're gonna brilliantly find out who did this, and we're gonna treat this strain. I hope you're right, but if you're not, I just I really want to make sure that she hears my voice. When Reed is exposed to a new, more powerful strain of anthrax from a secret lab, he wastes no time in putting himself in mortal danger in order to solve the crime and prevent anyone else from getting hurt. Go help Hotch. Hotch has plenty of people helping him. He needs you more than I do. Reed locks himself in the lab, keeping Morgan out and refusing to come out himself until he both finds a cure and the bad guy. Even when he starts showing symptoms, Reed stays against his friend's wishes and, as usual, saves the day. How's that? She's on the mend. So were the three others. You were right about where to look for his cure. Number 4. Slaying Past Demons some people don't handle being taken down and arrested by Reed as well as others. We'll distract them. The car we were in is right outside the door. We're 18 minutes away from where we want to go. Turn left outside the parking lot. Take a right at the light to recognize the rest. You remember that episode where Reed and Prentice go undercover in a cult to discover if the leader is taking advantage of the underage women there? Well, in the show's 300th episode, Reed is held hostage by the same cult, and they are out for revenge. You never considered how angry we'd be? Your government underestimated our faith. Now you'll see. He is forced to help free one of their leaders from custody to save Garcia from being killed. Naturally, his super brain is always at work, though. And he comes out on top in the end. You look kind of tough. Thank you. That's what I was going for. Number 3. Reed versus Tobias Reed's super brain strikes back yet again when he's captured by a new serial killer with multiple personalities. I believe you can see inside men's minds. It's not true. I study human behavior. I'm not interested in the arguments of men. Reed is physically beaten, emotionally battered, and shot up with drugs. Yet through all that, he still manages to keep his wits about him and send a cryptic message to his team, letting them know exactly where to find him. He also quoted Genesis chapter 23, verse 4. Read it. I am a stranger and a sojourner with you. Give me property for a burial place among you, that I may bury my dead out of my sight. He wouldn't get it wrong unless it was on purpose. He's in a cemetery. Who knew Reed would hold up so well under torture? But then again, we should know better than to underestimate him. I'm strong enough. You're all weak. Get out of there. This is another classic badass Reed moment. Number two, passing his gun qualification. Even in this early episode of the show, Reed was already surprising us. Did Els teach you that? They're gonna take away my gun. Profilers aren't required to carry. After failing his gun qualifications for field duty, Reed is pretty let down, but he proves himself more than ready to take on armed bad guys when he and Hotch find themselves held hostage. Profiler, sent you to figure me out? We did, that's how we found you. Shut up, Reed. Hotch can't get to his weapon, so he creates a scenario where Reed can reach it without tipping off their captor. He single-handedly takes out the bad guy and saves himself and Hotch in the process. No one can deny that he passed his gun qualification after a slick move like that. Nice shot. I was aiming for his leg. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Nerd brain power. Reed cracks the code. Normally, you'd use a computer to run all these combinations, but it was quicker just to do it longhand until I found the right one. He's so lifelike. The star puzzle. Solving the unsolvable puzzle. The point is, it's basically impossible to do because you have to take all of those pieces and fit them together exactly. There's a lot to hate about you, Dr. Reed. Reed just being Reed. True friendship. Thank you. For what? 
For being you. Aw, oh, thanks. I don't know how to be anyone else. Yeah. That's what I love about you. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Spontaneous Profile There are many moments throughout the show where Reed's intellect saves the day, but this one might just be the best. When Reed and Hotch are stuck alone in a cell with a death row inmate who plans on killing them as a backwards way to stay his execution, Hotch's response is to stand up to his intimidation. But Reed has a better idea. At your core, you're a coward. Chester, do you want to know why you killed those women? He creates a profile on the spot to convince the killer that he sympathizes with him and that he will be spared. Earlier, you said your victims never had a chance. I think you know deep down it was you who really never had a chance. Buying them enough time until the guards return. We bet it would have been awesome to see Hotch pummel that guy, but watching Reed simply talk their way out of the bad situation was even better. Is that true? I never had a chance? I don't know, maybe. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.